Hey, welcome back to SFPB. If you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we got a lot of great content like tutorials and flight footage. So today we're going to be talking about setting up one shot using an S bus connection. First of all, what is one shot? One shot is a different and faster communication protocol between the flight controller and the ESC on your quadcopter. It essentially allows the flight controller to send control commands to the motor quicker. Therefore, in theory, your multi-rotor should perform better. You will need to have a one-shot feature enabled on both your flight controller and ESC. For the flight controller, I'm using a CC3D, and for the ESCs, I'm using the Rotor Geeks ESCs Quad Pack. So traditionally with the CC3D, you're probably going to be using an 8-pin connection plugged into the port on the, on the left shown here in the picture. But for this application, we're going to be using the main port. And for this, you're going to need an old ESC wire, like in this picture here. Basically, all we need to do is clip the wires, make sure you have enough slack, and then we're going to solder it to uh, the small connector that came with your CC3D, which is the, the bottom right cable here in this image. So here you can see the ESC plug uh, plugged into the S bus on my FreeSky X8R transmitter. Um, Brown wire goes to negative, red goes to positive, and the yellow goes to the communication line. And as you can see on the CC3D, the yellow goes on the top, the red goes in the middle, and the black goes on the bottom. Alright, so here's another angle of the main port. You can see coming out of that is my solder connections covered with some heat shrink. So, for the ESC wires, you're going to have brown, which is going to coordinate with black, and then you're going to have red, which goes to red, and then yellow goes to the yellow on the um, main port plug that you're going to make. And that other plug is for my Eternity on-off switch, which is plugged into channel 8. Alright, here's another look with the cover on. You can see that Brown is negative, red is positive, and then again the yellow is the communication line. Alright, next step is in the input section of the ground control station for Open Pilot. Uh, you want to make sure that all of your input channels are set to S bus, including the flight mode. And then for your hardware, you're going to select the main port as S bus, disable the flexi port, and then for the receiver port, you're going to select PWM plus no one shot. All right, once that's done, you're going to go into your, your radio. I'm using the Tyrannus um, X9D Plus, and just make sure that your channels are as follows. So input one would be throttle, two would be aileron, three is elevator, and four would be rudder. Um, in order to do this, you just go to edit, hit enter on the source, and then move the stick that coordinates with what it should be. So if it's throttle, move the throttle up and down. Uh, if it's rudder, move the rudder left and right. And then just hit enter, exit, go down to the next one. You're going to hold enter, edit, and do this for all four channels. Alright, once that's done, you're going to want to run the vehicle setup wizard and select S bus for the signal configuration. Then you're going to want to select one shot ESC. And just make sure you have the most uh, up to date ground control station because the previous version did not have this one shot option. 
Alright guys, that's basically it. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, if this video helped you guys out, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And check out some of our other videos on our channel. And if you have any questions, just post in the comments below and we'll try to help you out. Alright, safe flying.